Hi everybody, my name is Michelle. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I know it's been a minute again since I've been here. I injured myself, so it's taken me this long to get to a point where I could actually achieve a video. So here we are. The recipe today is going to be a little different. Instead of pulling from my cookbook shelf, because I have had an injury and I wasn't able to hold physically a cookbook to read it and look at it and go over it, I decided to choose something from Pinterest and that's where this recipe comes from today. So when you go to find the recipe in the description box, just follow the link. It'll take you right to Pinterest. It'll take you right to the recipe. This recipe is fabulous. I saw it. I haven't had it before. I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I'm down for this. And I just know just from instinct, like anybody would who's familiar with recipes, that it was going to be delicious. So it is called pancake casserole. I keep wanting to call it blueberry pancake casserole. It's just pancake casserole. It is absolutely delicious, as you'll see. And there's not much else to say other than I am super glad that this was chosen and I am super glad that we made it. We had it for breakfast this morning. It was phenomenal. I hope you do try this. So without further ado, let's get at the recipe today. Okay, for starters, I'm going to make the topping for this recipe. Now in this bowl, I have a quarter cup of flour, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of granulated white sugar. Down in there, if you can see it, is a pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Also, in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of melted butter. Now, first off, I'm just gonna whisk all of these together here best I can. There is some lumps in my brown sugar. Yes, there is. Just trying to get this. Sort of incorporated pretty well. I'm going to add my butter. And I'm going to mix this. We'll see what this. Looks like it's going to be sufficiently crumbly. So the little clumps of brown sugar will just be a, a sweet bonus for whoever gets them. I'm probably going overboard here, but So, okay, this batch that we're doing is actually a half batch, like Michelle had the recipe. So the bowls I'm using really are quite large. You'll see the next size down here in a moment. I could have used that for my dry, but anyway, that's okay. So the ingredients for the dry portion are one and a quarter cups of this is just general purpose flour. A tablespoon of granulated sugar. And in this bowl, I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Sorry, that was my microwave. So half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and a uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna put them in there and whisk to combine. Probably good enough. Forgot to start my oven. There, got it preheating on 350 right now. So now in the wet bowl, I have 
a cup of buttermilk and a quarter cup of regular milk. I'm not sure if I held this up so you could see it properly. It's a cup of buttermilk. Quarter cup of milk, two tablespoons of melted butter, which is why you heard the beeping. And I've got vanilla here. This is the artificial kind. Um, it calls for three quarters of a teaspoon, or a tablespoon, no teaspoon, sorry. I'm just gonna add that right from the bottle as we go here, so. I guess first off, reading the actual, so there you can see the, I gotta get my little machine here and scrape the, now this is buttermilk that we just basically made. Michelle will tell you how we do that. Set that aside. Put my egg in. So put my melted butter right in there as well. Once again, my little machine here. Then my quarter cup of plain old milk. And I could get all fancy and get the quarter, but I'm not going to and break that yolk. set that over there for this second. I'm going to now combine the wet and the dry. This is not my favorite kitchen tool, this. But we'll see how I can make out with it. We are making this in an eight by eight pan, which I have prepared ahead of time, which you'll see in just a minute. Says the batter will be lumpy and not to over mix it, which I am want to do. Just have to make sure everything is combined here. It's like it. Well, Michelle's explaining it all, so. You see it? So, oh yeah. I bet you this will be good. But there's not a lot of sugar in it, right, is the thing. Now, I have three quarters of a cup of berries. And I know, as you can tell by looking at that bowl, that they are going to stain the fingertips. So, I'm going to do the best I can with a spoon to just scatter them on there. And obviously, if I needed to... I could grab a couple more to get the spots that aren't being evenly distributed, but that's going to have to do it, right? And this, I'm going to get my, oh yes, look at that, butter, right? Just breaking them up into, I guess it is the, well, it's not a crumble, but it's a topping. That look yummy. So now let's just do this. There's one of them. I guess I shouldn't cover the project, should I, with the, the bowl. Doesn't that look spectacular? So at any rate, my oven is not quite preheated anyway. But I'm gonna put it in, I will bake it and babysit it, starting at about 28 minutes. And then when it's done, we'll show you that, so stay tuned. Okay, here it is. It's pretty hot still. It baked for 29 minutes. It smells lovely, looks lovely. 
We're going to do a taste test here in a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here it is. This is a corner piece. We'll show the pretty side. But we're going to show the pretty side. Can you see that? Yeah, you That's should be so able to. That's so weird. It's, uh... The color, I mean. Yeah. It's actually bled out blue. And purple. And purple, yeah. It looks really uh, good. I would say it's going to be like a tender... I didn't even... Oh, yeah. So we it's have like here some cake. of our finest maple syrup. Just a little. So that's a half tablespoon that she has. That's good. And I'm guessing she used about a teaspoon. I don't oh. want to OD on sugar before bedtime. Because it it's nine like o nine o'clock here, so. And we're old, we'll be up all night. <laughs> you go ahead and give it a whirl. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. I think I already know what's going to be delicious. Oh, man. What do you think? Is this That's cake? really good. It's like a pancake. Ah. Hence the word. Hence the name. That's delicious. Oh, we're wiggling the camera. I am sorry. I said we, but... Well, I'm the one standing by it. Oh my goodness. Isn't that good? The texture is just like a fluffy pancake. That. Mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's crazy good. Mm -hmm. you I gotta know eat, you love you gotta blueberries. Eat this. Yeah, and I like blueberries anyway, but. That, That's really good. That not crumble on the top, oh, which is so crumble. Good. Break that and we'll split it up. This is, uh, I'll fight you for the last well, bite food, is what that is. Yeah, well. Mm. Yes, you can grab that. I'll eat that because it's the... That's delicious. Oh, totally. That'd be great for Christmas morning or... Yeah. Any morning. We're going to eat it this week, so... That's crazy good. That's, That's delicious. really good. That's fantastic. That's a winner. What's it called again? Blueberry pancake casserole? Maybe. Okay. Oh That's my goodness. Delicious. I love the Mitchell syrup on it. Yep. And I like that there's no sugar, like there's barely any sugar in that. Mm hmm. So it's not like overkill. Oh, yeah. It's not like, oh my goodness, that's so sweet, like a cake. That's lovely. Yeah. I'm excited to we'll have that for breakfast. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Maple sausage. Mm. This mm. smidge of maple syrup. You saw for that piece a uh, teaspoon of maple syrup. Oh my goodness, that is so delicious. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, everybody, there is not much to say about this recipe other than obviously I've said it more than once. It is definitely worth making. And you could switch up, that's the beauty of pancakes, anyways. You could switch out blueberries for strawberries, for raspberries, for chocolate chips if you wanted to, peaches, whatever you like on a pancake, you could easily swap this out if you make the recipe the same way and just put it on top like this one. This is so easy and it was so delicious. And as we said, we halved it because we're only two people and it called for a nine by 13 pan and we could not foresee eating that much. Our freezer is quite full as it is, so I didn't want to freeze it. And we made it Friday night, no, Saturday night, and we had it for breakfast Sunday morning and absolutely amazing like it's fabulous we warmed it up in the microwave for like 12 seconds or something that would depend on your microwave but totally worth making and we plan on eating that for breakfast this morning throughout the week as far as it'll take us so i hope you enjoyed today's recipe i really do hope you try it if you try it let me know if you had it let me know it's delicious i love that there's barely any sugar in it because the real only sugar that you're getting is a little tiny bit from the crumb topping and the maple syrup. Can't say enough good. The recipe did call for lemon zest, which I forgot to buy a lemon. I did manage to buy the blueberries, but I completely forgot about the lemon. It is not lacking without lemon. I know it would be even better because lemon and blueberry go really well together, but it, it's not. It's not sad without the lemon. So if you don't have lemon, just forge on. I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. I hope that if you haven't subscribed, you would consider doing so and click the notification bell. I hope you come back for more. And as always, I hope you're having a great day.